Hey YouTube, this is Facia with Simply Lavish at Home. My youngest nephew is turning 21 this week, so there was nothing for it than Auntie to make him a very special birthday cake. Check it out. Out by making a full recipe of uh, cookies and cream cake, which is essentially vanilla cake with Oreo cookies crumbled into it, and a half recipe of chocolate cake with uh, Oreo cookies crumbled in, um, to which I am going to level out and half the cookies and cream cakes and level, and I'm going to cut the chocolate layers into thirds. So you see there, I'm using a ruler and a very sharp knife to make sure I get even layers. I also made cookies and cream buttercream which is again just regular buttercream with very finely chopped Oreo cookies in there. The cake layers have been simple syrup and I'm using a piping bag to dollop on my buttercream. So we start with the layer of cookies and cream, followed by a layer of chocolate, and we keep stacking that on top of one another, smoothing out the buttercream after each layer. I am using a six inch cake. So this is a relatively small cake, but as you'll see, I come up with a lot of layers. We can go ahead and put on our buttercream along the outside. Um, the nice thing I felt with the cookies and cream icing is that it already has a ton of crumbs. So I didn't go through the process of putting a crumb coat and then re-icing. I just went on and did one layer of icing and happened to use all of my icing at that point anyway. So I was glad that I didn't have to go back and make another batch. got through icing this cake I got a little worried because I didn't put a second cake board in the middle of all of those layers so I got worried that it might collapse on itself but everything turned out to be really good and turned out fine Part of what's going to decorate this cake is a some chocolate shards. So I bought a cookies and cream Hershey bar and wanted it to look like candy bark. So I bought it whole and put it on a cookie sheet with some parchment paper in a 200 degree oven until it got soft. So when it came out, I was able to spread it. Um, across the parchment paper still keeping it on the warm cookie sheet so it'll stay soft as I spread it to the thickness that I wanted and rather than making my own bark I was able to get this done ra rather quickly then I take it off the cookie sheet so it can cool and harden decorating this cake is a ganache drip so that's 50% chocolate 50% cream then I just use the piping bag to drip over the sides and along the top and using my spatula to smooth it out all over the top so now that my candy has rehardened I initially thought I would just pick it up and drop it to see how it broke but I was worried that the pieces would be too small and I wouldn't get the height that I wanted so I just decided to let it sit out for a little bit and go in with a knife and strategically randomly break it up with a knife then I just take the shards that I've created and stick them down into the cake um, at different angles different size pieces I also have a Hershey excuse me not a Hershey but an Oreo cookie candy bar that I'm going to use to decorate the cake along with some Oreos that I had left over out of the package um, some of them still sandwich um, one of them I opened up to reveal the white center and place those over the top of the cake
And there is the finished product. Um, my family was sufficiently impressed with this cake. The birthday boy was happy. And we all had a really good time eating cake, drinking champagne, and celebrating my nephew's birthday. So let me know what you think, leave your comments below, and give this video a thumbs up. And if you're not already, don't forget to subscribe to Simply Lavish at Home and hit that little bell that you know every time I post a video. You can follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and on Twitter. And as always, thanks so much for watching. Until next time, here's to living Simply Lavishly. Cheers.